Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z. Bird Zidell. With me, as always, I got my main man, Anthony Uncircumcised Shuley. What's up? Johnny Wig Split Rosado. What's up? And Jack the Cheekbuster Welsh. Oh, what's Cheekbuster's it? here. Um, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, last week, I hope you enjoyed that tribute. We uh, replayed an episode of uh, Dino when he was on the podcast. Um, we, we are aware that not everyone knows who Dino is. And um, we were going to tell some stories and stuff about Dino today and, like, maybe get to know about him a little bit better. Dino was our all four of our lifelong friends. We uh, were really fortunate to have such a great group of friends. We've all been friends for years and years and years and just cutting up and having fun. And so much stuff's happened, so much, like, good, fun stuff. And uh, we really wanted today to start off the show by just, like, like kind of like going back in time a little bit reliving some of those like really good times we had with dina so uh we're going to kind of go around and j- just start telling some stories money line that was one good thing that came out of all this shit that all of us got together and like spent so much time with each other and it was like fucking everybody too so it, it was cool i mean we're all still pretty close it's not like we we pretty much see fucking everybody except the dudes that don't live here anymore but I mean, like even they were there so i mean out of this shitty ass fucking two weeks it's been uh that was one one good thing I thought. I felt a I felt a a very strong bond with everybody. Yeah. That maybe like before I took for granted. Maybe for sure. I took for definitely granted. took for granted and just. I mean, we're fortunate. Not a, not a lot of dudes are boys with dudes that that they grew up with when they were fucking four years old and still talk that, to. That, fucking. That's what my buddy said. He seen the picture of us at the uh, bleachers. He's like. I don't think I have that many friends I could get together like ever, and like, let alone on dude, that the was, drop of a hat. That know? was probably twenty five dudes. That was over, the big, over that was a turnout. Yeah. Over within like an hour hours notice before we were talking about, we all went down to bleachers the night Dino passed away at uh, Don McGee and just hung out and fucking drank some forties and smoked some blunts. But there was twenty five thirty dudes there within the hours notice, yeah. and it was just like over a couple, like just a couple text messages, and that was it, and everybody was yeah. fucking there. Uh, I'll start off these freezing fucks. their asses. Freezing off, their ass. <laughs> it was cool. I'll tell you what, dude. Drinking in the drinking and smoking weed in the cold is a young man's game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I went down there bundled up like the kid from fucking uh, <laughs> with a Christmas story. <laughs> you know, I know it's gonna be fucking freezing down there. But uh, me and Dino were working for Donnie Mason one day, fucking like doing Saturday trees back in the day. He owned he owned a tree company, and me and Dino were the laborers. And Skippy Cronin cut down, like, climbed this tree in, like, two seconds and fucking dropped this fucking tree. (laughs) Fucking, like, missed the house by, like, no bullshit six inches. But, like, he knew what he was doing, and he he got out of there. So we're cutting up this tree, and, like, Donnie's cutting him up into fucking big-ass fucking, like, fucking round fucking stumps. So we're fucking, I'm, like, fucking carrying this fucking stump, like, with, with my knees and my legs, and I'm just fucking trying to, like, fucking get it to the fucking truck can't find dino or fucking donnie fucking anywhere i look and they're down in this lady's garage we were doing the fucking tree tree at with like there was a big mirror set up both of them have their fucking shirts off and they're flexing (laughs) in the fucking mirror as i'm fucking carrying this fucking log i'm like dude do you fucking motherfuckers want to get up here and use those muscles like fucking they had a couple show muscles and then uh so donnie donnie was like fucking bitching that we, we banged out these two jobs super duper quick. And uh, so usually after two jobs, you go home and that'd be the end of your day. So me and Dino, like, dude, we're going to fucking Sandcastle. Yeah. And uh, he was like, what do you mean? We got like a half day of work left. I was like, because we did the two jobs. Like, give us our hundred bucks. Like, we're fucking, we're going to Sandcastle. <laughs> fucking. And so he's bitching. He makes us go to our third job. <laughs> we're like, we're like going down the alley uh, to do this like third, like weird job is in this like cut. And we're pushing this chipper down the alley, and there was a giant pothole that none of us seen. We hit the fucking pothole; the whole fucking chipper flipped over. Oh, <laughs> dude, fuck. didn't get, like we it, it flipped perfectly the like the other way, so like it didn't go towards us. It went in front; like it was a front flip. And fucking, there's just fucking oil and gas fucking leaking <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> fucking me and Dina were fucking cracking up. Donnie's going fucking crazy. Fucking, and we found dude. We, somehow us three flipped this fucking chipper fucking back up. And it, if everything fucking worked, it was crazy. And we were like, all right, dude, we're getting out of here. You know, let's go to Sweeter Trip. We're going to fucking Sandcastle. But, yeah, I look over. Those two motherfuckers are just in the mirror fucking just having a flex off. Dude, how long did he work for that tree service? I know Dino didn't, like, work like that at that all. That was the only weekend. <laughs> <laughs> that was one and done for old Dino there. I, I stuck it out a little longer because I worked with Donnie at the city and fucking uh, 
I don't know, it was something to do. It was some extra cash. But, yeah, I believe that was Dino's only Saturday. I can see that. <laughs> kind, of, kind of into mm-hmm. Sandcastle time, dude. I, I got I got um, one just for right now. It was like Dino, I want to say it was his, probably his 30th birthday. At the time, I like wasn't doing so good, but he invited me over to Nana's house, and he was like, dude, come over. I'm like, dude, what do you want me to bring? I'll bring whatever you need. He was like, dude, you don't have anything. I'm like, no, I'll bring I'll bring an ice cream cake. And he was like, dude, if you can get an ice cream cake, bring it. <laughs> That's what he is, yeah, right. he's, like, he's, like, he's like, come on. <laughs> So I'm on I'm on bicycle and I know that I can steal ice cream cakes from Giant Eagle and Squirrel Hill. I'd done it before and I was ready to do it again. So it's like probably like eighty five ninety degrees. Where are the where are the ice cream cakes located in Squirrel Hill, Giant Eagle? It's like right in the back. It's right like like you go to the or so right before the bakeries there, the ice cream cakes are right to the left right to the left in the first aisle. So like they're pretty easy to take and when you walk out with it. <laughs> People, people just assume that you paid for it because you're carrying it like this. And nobody steals an ice cream cake. Except for me. <laughs> so, so, I, Dino's like, so I'm like, all right, I gotta hurry up and get over to Dino. So then I had to go back in Giant Eagle and get a bag because like, I didn't, you know what I mean? I couldn't carry the cake with one arm like this. <laughs> so you stole the cake and went back in and asked and for I'm a bag? Not, I'm not kidding, a blue bag. So I'm like, all right, dude, I gotta get there. So I get over to Dino's. I'm like, I'm like pedaling, pedaling. I can't remember what I seen, but like someone stops and talks to me for a second. I think my name Rich Tenney. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Rich, I gotta go. I got this ice cream cake. He's like, oh, oh yeah, get going, buddy. I'm like, all right. And I'm pedaling, motoring. I'm bouncing around and everything like that, trying to keep the cake as still as I can. Squirrel, like that's a nice little bike ride. Where, for, where did you honest, start from? Yeah. So I started from my mom's old house, was right by the wind green. Yeah. To Squirrel Hill. And then I went to Dino's Grams. Yeah. So I mean, on a bike, I mean that's that's a little trek. Yeah, I was like, you know, what I mean, wasn't you know doing the greatest in my life. I just had a little so bit that energy. flew by. <laughs> yeah, I had a little bit of energy at the moment. So I got this stolen ice cream cake, and I'm going over to Nana's house, and like Dino tells Nana, like Stinky's coming over with an ice cream cake. Let's wait for him. I want to wait till this cake gets here. So. They're like, Nana's probably like, was like, oh, oh, stinky with the cake. And then, uh, why stinky pick up cake? So I get there and I'm like, happy birthday. And dude's like, ha ah, ha ha, you came through. So puts it on a table and the motherfucker's like half melted. And it's like into a ball. And then he's like, he's like, he's like, dude, this is more like an ice cream ball. And you're not like an ice cream cake, dude. And I'm like, well, you know, I stole it. And he was like, oh, does it matter if you came, cuz? I'm like, thanks. Like, not really. You fucking ruined my whole birthday. I told my nana to make a cake. <laughs> now we're eating an ice cream ball of shit. He was like, I was like, it's still. Yeah, dead. this was summertime. It was Dino's birthday. <laughs> September. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hot enough. Yeah. Right. Uh, he was like, but Dino was dying, dude. We had a good time. Like we ended up, we, no one ended up like fixing the cake, like like repairing it. And I like, put it back in the freezer and like end up we salvaged the cake. She it, put some Neapolitan ice cream on yeah. the side of it. To, to <laughs> yeah, yeah it. smooth it out. Like, <laughs> it's like it was some concrete. But yeah, old no, Nona can fix anything when it comes to food. <laughs> yeah, pants, food, whatever. She's yeah. gonna fix it. But yeah, like that was just one of the like times I remember his birthday stealing that ice cream cake for him. <laughs> All right, so mine mine goes way back to like when we were fuck maybe like eighteen, maybe I don't know. He was younger, so mid- he was probably like sixteen, seventeen around there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, we went to the bleachers because that's where we all used to hang out. So we were there smoking a blunt. Or we're waiting. Dino calls Deuce. He's like, I got to go take a shit. I'll be right back. Don't smoke it without me. Right? Like, no problem. But, you know, you can see across the avenue. So yeah, you can yeah. see the car. Coming Calling out. Deuce is when you get your second on the blunt. Which yeah, was, that was, that was, was yeah. definitely a big thing back in the day. Uh, yeah. Which, looking it. back on it, is insane that we used to have to call and, that. And what's <laughs> even crazier is that we were smoking like four blunts at a time. Right, right? There's yeah. six people. we got to smoke four blunts. You yeah, know there's, I mean? there's enough blunts to go around. Dude, right, right. But when Dino said he went to take a shit, he went to go fight with his girlfriend at yeah. the time, Michelle, for an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Let's clear that up. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah. We see his car coming back, you know, and Paul, like, he's, he's a cool guy. You know what I mean? So he's like, oh, there he is right there. He <laughs> sparks the blunt, hits it like twice. Dino pulls up and goes batshit crazy, dude. He's like, you motherfucker. He's like, I wanted fucking do something. He spiked the blunt. It exploded <laughs> on the ground. I'm like, great. Now no one's smoking that blunt, dude. Like, what the fuck? He was so fucking furious about it, dude. Like, One of on. the funniest yeah. Dino what? moments. He got wound up for a uh, real he quick. Wi- oh, yeah. You get him wound. Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't was... a good joke taker. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was the funniest No, shit. not at all. He'll fuck with you, but you... Oh, yeah. You, you could fuck with him, but, like, if you were, like, in front of somebody that, like, didn't really know us, that right. he, he thought you were trying to embarrass him in front of, that's when he would, like... That's when he would, like, pull, like, your ace. Like, yeah. your heart, Remember you dude. shit your pants when you were fucking 14? Like, <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> yeah, thanks. 
<laughs> yeah, he was good for that. Uh, Calling yeah. me out when I was bald, like balding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like right away, right in the middle of like yeah. the club made me feel like shit. But like the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah. That yeah, motherfucker. But so uh, like Paul, this is actually Paul's story, but I was there and like I remember it. There's like a million stories. It's hard to like pinpoint a lifetime. Mm. Yeah, it's, out with this it's hard kid. to like, it's hard to like get everything. To, it's hard to right. comment. Yeah. Deep comment. I don't like, know what the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know. like, so we're at like Paul's yeah, wedding and like, we're all standing outside of the church, like all of our boys drinking and fucking like Dina like comes out of the fucking nowhere. Like Paul, he's like, you're making a mistake. <laughs> he's like, I'll get a car to come get you right now. He's like, this is the biggest mistake you're ever going to make in your life. And like, dudes say this like before, like weddings is like a joke. It was like in like wedding crashers. Like yeah. this was not a joke. No, right? he was a hundred percent. He was, he was like, what are you doing? Yeah. And to, Paul, to Paul's credit, the other day when he was telling the story, he was like, he was absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have listened. Yeah. Should have listened. I right? mean, we all were thinking it. He just said it. Yeah. Mm. He was dead serious. He looked at his eyes like, I'll well, take you anywhere you want to go. Well, so, like, tell me what. <laughs> Drive to Ocean City how right now. Anywhere. Dude, yo, you know, Yogi, Yogi, you could tell Yogi, like, anything. And he's, like, going to be real, like, nonchalant. He's like, no, dude. Come on. Yeah, he was, like, on, the first man. one to get married. He was, like, super young and, like. Dino just like, I mean, Dino, you want to have a talk with him. You should have told him this like maybe a week ago before we're like, we're here now. This is happening. After the bachelor party. Dude, we were, on, we were on this thing on the stand as Carlos started like fucking sweat profusely and almost like passed out. And he was like still like chirping at like at Yogi like the whole time. <laughs> Carlo was like, like going to die on that fucking thing, dude. He turned white as a ghost. Carlo doesn't do well on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Someone obviously, there's a million like pictures getting sent around to everybody fucking the past couple weeks, and uh, somebody sent me one of us when we were young, and it was me, DC, and uh, Carlo. And Carlo just, we were like in third grade or some shit, and Carlo looked so pale white then, just <laughs> scared to death on stage for some reason. Yeah, he's, the, he's the palest Italian the, kid ever. The, uh, the, the, I but think yeah, that's what a call that was by Dino to fucking, yeah. if only if Paul would have listened to him, would have saved them a couple bucks. Saved them a ton. Yeah, that money was spent by that time anyhow. But yeah, like I just remember like always picking like Dino and Carlo up because I started driving first, and yeah, they were never ready. And they they would Dino would come out like in his underwear like one no, minute one minute yeah <laughs> crazy he, 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 so like twenty minutes later they come out and Carlo would just mosey onto the car no no <laughs> Dino would come out like three seconds before Carlo and then talk shit on Carlo while he's so slow the whole he's, time why am I gonna get ready he's taking forever <laughs> the Leonardo's love sitting in their underpants and all <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you went in, you went in the house any time of the day they're just hanging out in their underpants you're like all right may as well fucking join the party dude we <laughs> we were uh, we were young going into Going in this, I was in sixth grade. Going in the seventh, I went to Kiski basketball camp, the best I ever been at basketball. Like fucking legit, I was I was good. I came back like fucking, I sharpened you know sharpened the blade. Like I was fucking, I was ready to go tryouts for fucking seventh grade varsity, seventh and eighth grade fucking like varsity were coming up, and uh, we were hooping. It was still the summertime. It was like the end. Carlo was like talking shit. Like, just always, like, you'd, like, heck, Carlo was a bully when we were little. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. So, Carlo was talking shit. I'm like, dude, Fat Chops, I'll beat you. That's, that was Carlo's nickname back in the day, Fat Chops. <laughs> and uh, I was like, dude, I'll beat the shit out of you fucking one-on-one right now if, like, you want it. And he was, he was like, dude, let's go. So, like, no bullshit. I beat Carlo 11 nothing fucking on one-on-one. <laughs> he is fucking furious. Like, and, and uh, I was like, dude, I told you, like, I've been playing all summer. I went to a basketball camp. Like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm legit right now. Like, you, you don't want this smoke. And he did, and I gave it to him. <laughs> but, uh, so he was, like, talking shit. We were about to fight. Calms down. I mean, we, dude, uh, me, Carlo, and Dino fought each other, like, probably no bullshit close to 50 times. Like, I was, the time, yeah, I mean, the time we were, like, maybe, like, longer, maybe more, even more than that. Uh, so me and Carlo are about to fight. It gets broken up. So we start playing, like, a five-on-five. And so, like, I, like, steal the ball. I'm on a breakaway. Going up for a layup. Carlo Goldberg spears me out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crushes me, dude. Like, see, I hit my head off the fucking the, the court. Like, fucking, like, I'm in bad shape. Dino runs over and starts beating up Carlo. And me and fucking, uh, me and Tino jump Carlo. Oh, yeah. Because he was like, dude, you're a fucking piece of shit, dude. You're just yeah. laughing. Like, and that, was, that was the type of dude he was. He fucking stuck up for me when it was even with, against his own fucking brother. Uh, so that was that was one that popped out as soon as we as soon as all this shit happened. But yeah, Spider Loose crushed me, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that's great. Uh, dude, what was I? Um, I just had something on the tip of my tongue. With um, remember when we were all working at Wim? That mm -hmm. that was a, no, that, mm -hmm. that was a really good time. It was like I think it was like me, Dino, Jack. At the time, Dino and Jack let me move in with them. 
So, like, it was us three, and we were, like, living together. We were working at WIM. And, I mean, it was definitely probably the funnest time I ever had. Dude, if TikTok would have been around then, like, we would have. We would have made it because yeah. we we had nothing to do. Nothing. If I can, we worked at nights and if I can, I think like I don't know. I mean, we worked at nights and we just had time on our hands. Like, dude, we we would have we probably would have became because we were taking stupid pictures of shit and like fucking fucking around and get, bef- before before it was social media was even a thing. R- right. We were cutting up before everyone was like before Filming memes it. and yeah. shit like that. Like it was just major cutting up. But I I can remember the one time it's like one chick came over and she was like kind of like a bigger girl you know what i mean she was like she was like can i take a picture with you to dino and dino was like you mean him and she was like well i mean i guess that's fine dino's like that's my stand-in come on sting take a picture for me so i like stand there <laughs> like, she's like she didn't make it to dino's like level you know what i mean he was like but you know take a picture with stink you can show your friends he, yeah <laughs> i mean he's the guy that sleeps on the couch you can fucking take a picture with him but dude i uh it was like this is like something that popped in my head too. Like this was funny. Like as soon as this happened, it was like terrible. And I was like reaching out to people, and I didn't talk to Dino's dad. And I was like wanting to send him like a text because I didn't feel comfortable calling Frank. If you listen, to this, I don't know if you ever listen to these. We love you, but uh, Dino's dad, Frank. So I messaged Frank. The thing about Frank is he had like several different numbers over the years, you know. So I like am pouring my heart out on this text. I'm like, there's something like getting tears in my eyes and everything like this. And, like, I don't get no response. And I'm like, all right, I understand. And then finally my phone clicks, and it's like, you know that feeling when you're waiting for that text? You pick it up and goes, sorry about your loss, man, but I'm not Frank. Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> so I call Stutch, like, dude, what's Frank's number? So I copy and paste it and send it to Frank. It was all good after that, though. But I was like. Could you imagine, like, fucking, like you just, like, fucking, like, sending that, like, emotional, heartfelt text and just coming back, like. Hey man, wrong number, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Some some poor bastard was like, man, this dude's really having a rough night. Like, at least he threw it like, sorry for your loss, yeah, man. At least he yeah. like did. Yeah, that. at least he didn't like say like thanks. I probably would have said thanks just so like well, I can let you off the hook. But then Frank would have never <laughs> I, got that yeah, message or hit him with the who this. <laughs> yeah. Who this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, just like so many times, I mean, just like growing up, like going to like the Kennywood picnics, you know, seeing cat like Jack was saying, like seeing Castle, like the little vacations. I mean, it's just like a whole life with someone. Like, we got so many stories and stuff. And I'm sure, like, at the time, it's, like, weird. Like, now I'm thinking, like, what story should... And it's almost like, I feel like when we shut this down, we'll think of more stories. Right. Yeah, we were going to the Preakness the one time. And Dino was a designated driver. And, like, we had two RVs going. And, like, in one RV was... Uh, Dino was driving, and the other RV, I forget who was, forget who was driving. But it was fucking... It was... Like it was like five dudes and five dudes. These RVs were like f- filled up. You know what I mean? They were fucking. And we were drink. Dino didn't drink, so we were drinking on the way. So Dino also never drove an RV before, <laughs> uh, and was like twenty three, and like you had to be like twenty five to rent the RV. So fucking Burns rented the RV because he was older than us. So Dino's driving the RV. Dino runs a car right off the road. <laughs> Like, and we, as soon as we get into, like, Maryland, too, and anybody who knows to travel through Maryland, yeah. go to Ocean City, those motherfuckers don't play. They pull you over for everything. So Dino runs a car off the road. We see nobody gets hurt. You know what I mean? A dude pulls over, and he's flapping his fucking, <laughs> he's, he's pissed off. But right, rightfully so. Dino yeah. literally r- fucking ran him, ran him right off the road. So fucking, we're like, <laughs> we, so Dino is like, fuck it, I'll just floor it. They won't know which RV it is. So fucking, <laughs> <laughs> sure enough, fucking, they pull over the other RV. And they're like, dude, they're like, what the fuck are you guys like? What are you talking about? Like, fucking, they said that wasn't us. I don't even know what like we were talking about. So then they fucking hop back in their car and flag us and pull us over. And fucking Dino was like, what, what should I do? What should I do? I'm like, pull the fuck over. Burton's like, fuck it, just go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, pull up. <laughs> so at this point, we're in Maryland. Everybody's like six to eight beers deep. Fucking. Uh, they, they're like the the uh, the cop the Maryland cops couldn't have been cooler. They're like, you can't drive because you're 23 and like you don't have and there, there's no insurance in your name. Like you're completely you wrecked this. Like you're completely fucked. So Burns is like fucking. He's like, well, I've been drinking. He's like, so you guys just been back here drinking the whole time. We we're like, yeah. Uh, he's like, all right. Well, I mean, I can uh, just pull over and wait a few hours until like you're not drunk anymore. And Burns is like, well, get me a breathalyzer. We'll, we'll see where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> you give him a breathalyzer. So the cop gives him the cop. The cop's like on the RV at this point. You know what I mean? Like me and Davis are still still drinking beers because we're old enough. You're allowed in an RV. You know what I mean? So like it's a weird situation. 
and fucking uh, Burns was like, give me a breathalyzer. And dude was like, I mean, you really want me to give you a breathalyzer? And he was like, yeah, you ain't going to arrest me or nothing. I ain't driving. He's driving. He's like, no, but I mean, there's a few. Okay, dude, I'll give you the fucking yeah. breathalyzer. <laughs> he, like, he was outmatched. Right. But, like, and so he gives Burns the breathalyzer. He's like, huh, you're good to go. He's like, Good to go. He's like, yeah, you're uh, you're you're well under the legal limit. He was like, I drank like eight beers. <laughs> <laughs> and the cop was like, I mean, you're good. It's saying you're good to go. Byron was like, if I start this engine, you're gonna arrest me. He was, he was like, that's entrapment. <laughs> 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 and we were all, you know, I mean, we were all like, hey, wait, it's entrapment. Like we saw it. The dude was like, no one's arresting you. I just gave the breathalyzer. You're good to go. Burns fired up and fucking flew all the way to fucking uh, the breakness. Yeah, <laughs> grabbed, <laughs> grabbed the beer. But, like we were all just sitting there, like we were completely fucked. Like fucking Dino was like, "I'm gonna get in fucking major trouble here. I'm driving this fucking RV." And burn, <laughs> give me a breathalyzer, and they did. And somehow, this dude wasn't drunk off eight beers. <laughs> oh, dude. Not even drunk. No, just below the legal limit. Right, right. I don't know what the fuck was going on. A sol- Burns solid is the best. Going, yeah. Yeah, oh, Burns is the best. Yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, give me a breath. I'm like, why are you? Why are you asking for a breathalyzer, <laughs> dude? Yeah, yeah, right. Did you guys used to? Remember when um, Don at Heinz or not Heinz Hill, Three River Stadium? You used to sneak into the games with Dino, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that story I told a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was with Dino and fucking Frank and everybody. Bob Scheibel, because he came over on his house on on like the one, and he was like, "Let's." I remember I used to come over and play cards with you guys and take your money. That's not anything would happen. So me and Dino (laughs) are there. Bob Scheibel comes and we're uh, he's hammered, but he's all in a good mood. I'm like. I'm 14, Dino's 12, and we're playing the game Aces Deuces. If you don't know what Aces Deuces is, it's like, say you lay down an ace and a two, those are like the highest and the lowest cards. You want to get a card in between whatever two cards you have. But like, if the guy dealing looks at the card, he can cheat for someone, you know what I mean? Easily. Easily. So like, the one time like I'm like looking at Dino, it was literally an eight and a three. And the pot was like, I think it got up to like $64. And it, I looked, it was a four, and I like kicked Dino's foot, and Dino's like... Pot Bob was like, which is which is an insane calling AC Deucey fucking. Bob, <laughs> Bob Shabble was like, you're a crazy motherfucker. And <laughs> Dino lays out, De- like, definitely not enough money to cover whatever the fuck was in a pot either. No, so Dino was like, he was like, oh fuck, I can't believe that. He's like, it's like you guys fucking knew that. Dino was like, yeah, ain't it, Bob? He's like, oh, it stink deal, mom. And we played, and like, I think overall we won like. A hundred and thirteen dollars, but that was a major come up at twelve. Big money, yeah. big money. You know what I mean? I like we told Bob about it. You know, he was like, "I remember that." I'm like, "Really?" Because you just told us how you took all of our money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I'm sure he played it off like, "Ah, I was doing you get kids a favor type deal." <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you can make if you fucking were on your toes, you can make a couple bucks after those Denardo after parties, fucking like when you were oh. kids. <laughs> yeah, because like the older guys would hang out. And, I mean, dude, it was like the. That was definitely like the boys' club. Like everyone was there all the time. A lot of great memories of four one three five Bristol Street. Oh, the best when they had four graduation parties four years in a row. One year after and the other. Ever, first one had like four barrels, and the last one had like seven. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> kept getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, but it's like a lot of great stuff, man. Fucking shame. Yeah, but uh, he's still with us, man. He's still with us. I, I know. Like this is kind of like a weird story. I was telling you guys about it today, <laughs> but um, I uh. So, like, my girlfriend, like, the one day, I remember she was, like, saying she'd seen a cardinal, and she was like, oh, that's my, you know, I always think that that's my grand, my grandma Garen. I'm like, ah, oh, why? And she was like, oh, they say, you know, I've heard before, it's like a, like a, you know, people say that, like, a if you see a card, wives tale, cardinals come back, it's like a angel visiting you. So, I'm like, oh, okay. So, then, like. I got a package from Amazon. And he's like, what's that? And I was like, it's bird food. And she was like, what'd you get bird food for? And I'm like, Cause I'm, you know what I mean? What if my man comes and sees me? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, she was like, you think, he, she was like trying to be nice to me, like, like let me down easy. Like, she's like, you think, honey, he's going to come back as a bird? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, but, <laughs> but if he I'm does, gonna be ready. he's going to be pissed. I don't have any fucking yeah. bird food. If I see <laughs> if I see some Jack Diesel Cardinal, you know what I mean, floating around, I'm going to make sure I got plenty of food for him, you know what I mean? But she was like, oh, that's sweet, you know, and I kind of felt like an idiot. I was like, ah, oh, no, who cares, man, you know? Yeah, whatever, whatever he fucking stops you from fucking crying out of nowhere. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll, I'll yeah. fucking, I'll, I'm getting a bird feeder tomorrow myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Great, great I can't believe bird I can't believe we got through that without any tears. I um, yeah, yeah. You, you know, it was just uh, everybody out there. Just thank you so much for like reaching out to the Donardo family and Christy Neff, and um, did a great thing with selling these shirts. 
um, down at 12 Whiskey Barbecue. It's for um, Maria. Dino and Maria had a child together, Melania, and all the money goes to Melania's college fund. So check out on 12 Whiskey Barbecue. I believe she still has some shirts left. Yeah, she has some shirts left, and we're going to do a fundraiser uh, coming up here probably in the end of Mar- March, too. So we'll uh, keep you posted on that. Great, great. So I think we're going to take a quick commercial break, guys. When we come back, we'll be back with more of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Are you in the market right now for buying a house? Maybe in the market for selling a house. Have you heard about Carlson Associates Real Estate Services? If you haven't, maybe you should check them out. They're located right here locally in Pittsburgh at 106 South 18th Street in Southside. A lot of people think that they only service the Southside, but that's not true. They handle all the Pittsburgh area, and they also handle property management too. So if you're looking for a good real estate company that's locally owned and locally ran, call Carlson Associates Real Estate Services at 412-431-1718. That's 412-431-1718. And tell them Z Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you've ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in the light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, if you're looking for a fun night out in the south side and you don't want to get punched in the face, check out Finn McCool's at 1501 Carson Street. Go there, have a good time, and don't get punched in the face. Finn McCool's, 1501 Carson Street, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Oh, man, I don't know if you guys have ever felt like this, but I woke up this morning and my toilet's running. I can't get it to stop running. My water bill last month was double. I didn't know what to do. Thank goodness for Niscatch Plumbing. I called them, they were there right away and took care of the problem, and it didn't cost me hardly anything. They're registered master plumbers and fully insured. That's Niscatch Plumbing. Phone number 412-337-4047. 412-337-4047. Thank you, Niscatch Plumbing. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Before we get kicked off, I think my man Anthony Shuley is about to do a shot of that Espelon. All by myself. That's nice, guys. That's all right. I used to drink by myself all the time. And then eventually I ended up in a place called Gateway Rehab Center. <laughs> <laughs> my man. Um, we have a couple corn dicks of the week. First one, we're going to jump right into it. It's the deal with Robin Hood um, and them defending their decision to shut down the stocks. Um, they shut down these eight stocks after what happened was Wall Street Bets, which is on Reddit. It's a group. People have been following them, and they've been, like, trying to, like, get people hyped up to buy certain stocks, kind of showing, like, if everyone sticks together, we can raise the price of these stocks, and we can all make money. And then there's, like, a lot of problems with that <laughs> because people who don't have money and then they get money, it's hard to get them to, to keep the hold. You want to, yeah, you want to get your money out. Right. Plus, plus they're crushing all those hedge funds, too. Well, that's that, that's, that was the problem. That yeah. was the thing. That when it started crushing the hedge funds, that's when the resistance came in. Because like, the, the big hedge funds were short, short in uh, GameStop, yeah, right? GameStop, yeah. Yes. So these these stocks right here were the ones that weren't, or were allowed to be bought in very small increments. Uh, AMC, which obviously um, BlackBerry, Express was on there. That surprised me. And GameStop. There's a couple of Nokia. I think the only express around kicking anymore is the one down the waterfront. Yeah, and, major. And that, <laughs> I had to hit it. That's, Did you? Yeah, for, for yeah. Let's see if it's, uh, grab a suit. If you're getting a like, little shirt and tie. Yeah, you know, yeah. something a little more form fitting. <laughs> that, that's actually an express outlet. Yeah, it's it's, eh. it's nice. I I bought and stuff there myself. Express has the worst like fucking logo ever. That like the little, little tiger. Yeah, a little gay tiger. It'd whatever. Be, <laughs> it's it, it, a little be tiger. Off, be Roar. It, be yeah. Not, I'd rather go with nothing because, like, I don't want I, the thermal's nice, but then, like, to wear it out, I don't want that little tiger. Yeah, right. That's yeah. give me the Slush or a Nike Polo. I, that, you, you can't get like you can't get crazy with that tiger thing, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> so what everyone did was they bought stocks at low. Some people were getting in as early as like twelve dollars, something like it, like you know around like before it hit a hundred. But over the period of like three days, it started jumping up faster and faster. By the fourth day, they had this stock up to, it, I think it topped out at $500. So you're talking about a $10, you know, $17 investment. Someone who had 100 shares all of a sudden has 
a five hundred. You know what I mean? That's fifty thousand dollars. So it's a major come up. Yeah. Major come up. So people like w- were dumping them. But the problem was Robin Hood. So I went on Friday after the Thursday after this all happened. I went on Robin Hood Friday. I have a Robin Hood account, and I tried to like. I was like, I want to jump in on this. So I deposited some money, and it would not allow me to buy any of those stocks at the time. Un American. Claiming their claim was the market right now is too volatile and we do not support that. The problem is they weren't supporting the little guy trying to make any fucking money. And when they jumped in with that bullshit and get let people make their decisions themselves. Yeah. If they if you're gonna lose people spend so much money on worse shit than stocks. Like if they want to take a chance, let them take a chance. Like if you have fifty thousand dollars in the bank and you're b- b- willing to risk it all. Like, that's on you. you. You're an adult. Fucking, it was it was great though because like mil- billionaires were getting chased off Twitter. Yeah, like that dude that just bought the Mets. He fucking tried to hop on and be all cool. Meanwhile, he's the one that bailed out his boy. Fucking, that was uh, that was uh, the head of the hedge fund that was shorting uh, yeah. GameStop. So Stevie Cohen hopped on Twitter and like, hey man, we we're just and just trying to be cool and fucking important. We just ripped him apart and he, he fucking. He said he's getting off Twitter. He forever. was getting death, a couple death threats. Oh yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. You, you, you fuck over the little guy. Yeah, a lot of little guys. A lot of little guys. And like, dude, if you're a billionaire, you're not a normal person. You don't have social fucking skills. You're most likely a fucking weirdo. Yeah, but, you have and, no idea how to relate to some dude that like is pissed. Just put, put everything he has. Just threw eleven hundred dollars in here, and it, it yeah. was his fucking income tax. Check. Right. He's like, right. Am, am I going to pay the mortgage or am I going to get rich? Yeah. You know what what mean? Mean? Or lay it into something. Yeah. His, his friend just called him like, dude. We're on. Like this is, you yeah, got, this is what you on. got. And then we, yeah, like if you're fucking someone you trust, fucking tells you to do it, you'll throw a couple bucks at it. But right. that's that's your decision. It's your money. Fucking let me. Let yeah, me. You've it's an open market. Let me play. Succeed. Got to play to win, like the PA lottery. It, but that Wall Street <laughs> bets, personally, like I never, I never followed them before. I just started following them. And I was going through all their shit, and now they have like people who infiltrate their group. They're like handing out bogus advice. Right to get get everybody off this. Yeah, they're they're kind of fucked. There, they're trying get everybody to buy off silver. This. They're trying to buy say buy silver, buy silver. Silver prices today hit thirty dollars, and I, like I follow silver, and that's insane because not too long ago silver was at fifteen dollars. Right. You know what I mean? So they want them to like invest in that because they can't get shorted. A shorting, like if you don't understand what it is, I'm not like a total expert on it. But it's like when someone like borrows a stock off a company and agrees to give it back at a certain time, and when they give it back, they have to give you that price. So if you got GameStop, if you got you know ten thousand shares of it, you got in it when it was like three dollars. You know what I mean? You, your next thing you know, you got to give it back. It's up to three hundred. It's up to five hundred dollars. You just lost four hundred ninety-seven dollars a share. Yeah, All right. You're fucked. You're fucked. And, yeah, I, and you have to and you have to close that out. It's like a book you got to pay today. Dude. Right. right. Yeah. Right. End of right. end of That's market. That's why they were bankrupt. And uh, yeah, as soon as the market closed, you got to come with a check. Yep. Right. And I, I mean, that's great seeing them get fucked. <laughs> that was when uh, Dave Portnoy <laughs> started fucking like trading. I love him. He, he like he would like close out at the end of the day, and he would get an email like fucking like you need to send like a certified check to here or like fucking to this account. And he's like. Wait, they want their money now. Like, <laughs> yeah. I gotta give it to them now. Like gamblers, like you know, before like all before all these fucking like sports Internet apps sucks. came up. Yeah, fucking like yeah, you know, what I mean, you had some wiggle room. You had a right. week. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You could you could hit an end of the week parlay to fucking save your ass. That's like, it. Like, or that like, Thursday night game will save. He's like, they're saying I can't go back and fucking play the stock market again unless I pay them now. Yeah, it's nuts. And, and, <laughs> and you touched on this too, Jack. That they were like trying to give people life advice. Like, you should nah, spend, that fucking old guy. Spend more time. Yeah, I don't know where that guy was from. Yeah, hey, he was some some old dude. Fucking say what he, yeah, say some what he, fucking old dude. Fucking, he was on like fucking yeah. CNN or once see it, one of these fucking news channels, and he was like, "Well, I'm just worried about like the state of like young uh, Amer young males in America that are like like all." Uh, concerned with the stock market and just staring at their phones every fucking hour of the day and like what they really should be doing is working on like business relationships with their co-workers or maybe a romantic relationship like fucking like cuz what are you talking about yeah and he was like i'm worried about everybody like oh all of a sudden you're worried about young america my man, man when yeah. you're losing your dick right yeah. fucking i i they, dude, it was funny cuz like like i said these most of these dudes are fucking they're awkward as fuck so they're like, out of touch they're with completely out of touch they fucking go to their fucking country clubs and fucking all they do is talk to each other and fucking well, dude plus i mean now that the people seem like the scheme that they got going on they're gonna keep following them and like fucking yeah. the shorts up 
Yeah, this ain't going away. No, this no. ain't. This definitely ain't going well, that's away. Why they it's got something those they've plans. been doing for like years. But the only yeah. problem is like fucking like people got fucked today on GameStop. So I uh, sent that to Jack, and today GameStop went below a hundred dollars. Yep. So like, if you were one of the guys that decided to hold, and even a lot of people were buying in when it was still at two hundred. 250 300 you had a lot of people buying in people were holding over the weekend too and that and that's what killed them and then like today so many people decided to sell because it, it's going down it was below 100 dollars. and i felt bad for those people i don't know if you'll ever see gamestop i'm not an expert get above 100 dollars again unless they have another strategy like that but with what's in place right now on robin hood it won't happen you no because like, they're just gonna do what they did this do what they did fucking last week this weekend fucking and because they're going to get in front of it way before right. fucking they did this time. And there's a like cryptocurrency. It's called Dogecoin. I used to be a Dogecoin owner, heavy. But like I remember I had it, and I bought it for a half penny a piece. And I spent $400 and bought 80,000 Dogecoins. And I ended up a like, lot of Dogecoins. A lot of Doge. And I ended up like getting rid of it because it like never went nowhere. And then this weekend, fucking Doge, along with everything else, it jumped up to $0.05 cents a share. Now, I wouldn't have been rich or $0.05 cents a coin, but I mean, I'd have made fucking... What was it? Thirty six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice little way. I, I it's not nothing. No, yeah, no, yeah I it's would, not nothing. I would have loved it. So I was like, that's where I'm focusing my attention now. But I know nothing about the stock market. I keep, nor I keep we, bringing up Point Roy because he's been my my source of reference through all of this, which I think like <laughs> a lot of people. Uh, he said he lost seven hundred grand ish. So I yeah, because he pulled it ish. Yeah, because mm-hmm. he pulled his loot out today. And he was like, he was, he was like, a, they were calling him a suit. He was getting killed on the internet. They, they were calling him a suit and a pussy and shit. He's yeah. like. I mean, I might be a pussy, but I'm definitely not a suit. <laughs> 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 but like, yeah, it's fucking. How the fuck's just sitting there fucking watch your money disappear? Well, like, uh, dude, every, just, and then he's he's rich, rich. Right. If you're not rich, rich, and your money's disappearing, it's probably gone. Yeah. But if it's not, you're gonna. I mean, you're trying to get it back. It'd have been hard not to collect. Where do you think GameStop was going? I mean, I, I, well, they were. If you like made a shit ton, you're like, all right. That's what I was thinking. Or even sell half of it and keep half and see what happens. Like you made all your money back plus a huge profit. Hang on to half of it and risk that. But like. Some people, were, they, the way they were talking about on Wall Street uh, bets was, we're, we're hanging on till the bitter end. And then you got people buying into that. Not everyone's buying into the bitter. It ain't like well, us. People forward. can't afford to fucking, right. to fucking go to the bitter They had the brave heart fucking William Wallace. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Twitter has been unbelievable with yeah. this shit. Like fucking the memes and everything has been great. Uh, but yeah, that was that that uh, that was some entertaining shit. I think, like I said, I don't think it's gonna. It's, this is gonna keep firing up and go on for a little bit. And I think it'll be interesting. I know me personally, like I've been paying attention to Wall Street bets now, but like they haven't released any. Like the real people on there haven't like said we're going after this stock because they start saying like which hedge funds have shorts. That's what they look for and what companies and like that's who they want to go after. It's more of a fuck the system guy. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. it, but it's funny. A company, I mean, everyone said this, but Robin Hood steal from the rich, give to the poor. Uh, obviously, Robin not Hood's fucking not looking good in this situation. I mean, they'll be all right because like it is an easy app to use and it fucking is. maneuver and fucking everything like that. So they'll be okay. But uh, they were getting crushed, man. Oh uh, yeah, crushed. They, they, they got a hundred thousand one star reviews like that on like Wednesday or shit when <laughs> the shit hit the fan. Like, dude, that that. That's a lot. That brings yeah. the average. Yeah, down. that brings the average bit. down. <laughs> like when I see a long story review, I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Man, like dude, a hundred thousand in one day. Like I would have had a fucking heart attack. The, the thing with Robinhood compared to the other ones, like from my experience, it's it was so much easier to use than than Webull in in, the, in uh, Fidelity. Like, like I just E-Train and all that shit. It's, yeah, it's, it's so much simpler. The functionality of it is and the sim- simplicity of it is definitely they'll stick around, but they'll be all right. Yeah, so hopefully if you're you're out there listening, maybe you get on in on it, maybe a couple bucks, and next time we sell some T-shirts, make sure you check one out. <laughs> <laughs> um, c- we got a uh, corn dick, uh, another corn dick of the week. A co corn dick. This is uh, these influencers are, that are verified are now getting their houses verified with their own stamps. I'm gonna. This throw is some fucking money crazy. Out. Yeah, this is fucking nuts. Mm-hmm. Like this, the world's been weird as fuck for about a year now. It's getting fucking weirder. Like they gotta put it. Like they're putting like check marks on people's homes. Yeah. Like okay, you have a check mark on your home. Like someone's gonna rob the fuck out of you. Yeah. Like what? what Hopefully. And what? World, yeah, if we're lucky. Like what? Why the fuck would you want your house verified? It, like what? Like what is the benefit of that? Attention. Con- attention. Uh, yeah, which is yeah, like you're the whole attention whore. Absolutely. I guess content. But, yeah, I don't know. Content I, and attention, dude. It's all it's about. 
Social media is the devil. It is. It is the devil. <laughs> oh, it's, it's turning people out. I mean, I, like I, I, like I could sit here and say, oh, I get it, but I don't. I don't understand why they're doing it. But the only logical thing I can think of is these people. It's like a status symbol out in San Francisco. You know what I mean? He said there's a ton of influencers live out there. So the ones that are verified, they want you to know, like, I'm making bank. I'm the shit. It's like it's like driving a fucking Ferrari. I mean, there's a lot of people verified that aren't rich. That's true too. Like, that, it's a very, lot of people. I don't know. It's fucking strange. What it's if just... I go to like Z Bird's house and you got like a verification? I'll make my own. Yeah. <laughs> you should. It'll be like a, yeah, I don't know what we'll it'll cut be. up a tarp. <laughs> yeah. Put it on a garage. Yeah. Dude, it's seriously becoming like the Hunger Games where like fucking like like oh it's gonna be like elite people versus like normal people. hundred percent. The haves and the have nots, yeah, my friend. I don't know if the, the elites really want to smoke. <laughs> no, there's a lot more have nots. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I just I just can't wrap my head around like fucking it, what if your like kid was like a TikToker, like, damn, we gotta get our house verified. Like, what are you fucking nuts? I'll like, give go you a slap. Yeah. Here's your a mom. fucking football. I don't want anybody to know where you <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. fucking insane. I'm ready to break your right, fucking You know how many phone? solicitors yeah. will be coming? Yeah, you're such a pussy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, Go ahead, throw a fastball. <laughs> <laughs> and the, for the content goes both ways, because I could see people fucking with these people and showing up at their house. No doubt. Just to fuck with them. Yeah, it's a bullseye. Yeah. yeah especially yeah. if you do something that hurts some fucking jaggle's Listen, feelings. this might be a little ruthless, but if you fucking hang a verification on your house, you, just you just deserve every yeah. bad thing that yeah. happens to you. <laughs> I agree. I agree. 100%. If someone lights your house on fire, you... you, you you asked for it. Yeah. Fucking, you fucking asked for it. What you if fucking, the cop just came like, you goofy bastard? Sorry, dude, you asked for they, it. Yeah, they've been uh, burning <laughs> verified people's houses down lately, so yeah. you might want to take that Good. Down. I hope they were in it. <laughs> <laughs> they probably went live. Like, I mean, could you imagine if, like, Pittsburgh Cribs, like, start getting, like, verified? Like, they're going to... Like, they will be robbed. It would be... It, if I had to say what neighborhood would have verified people like that, I would say, first, I would... In the city, Lawrenceville. Yeah, shady could, side Lawrenceville. Shady yeah. side Lawrence. Maybe Squirrel Hill. Start. Like, yeah, yeah. Some real uppity motherfuckers. Like no one in Greenfield Hazelwood. We're not verified. I, I shouldn't say that. No, there's some. There might be verified people down Hazelwood. Yeah. Chevy. Yeah. Oh, you mean like? Oh, you're talking about like Twitter verified? Yeah. Yeah, we got Sean Gentilly from Greenfield. He's verified. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then all the Taylor Gang dudes are verified. Yeah, and we're practically in Taylor Gang, so that makes sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just the how the whole yeah. Twitter's one thing. Your house is a whole different thing, <laughs> right? Right. So uh, Twitter's a website. A house is where you they go just to need sleep, to define something new to like yeah, get going. It, it's getting it's it's, it's been out, out of hand. It's, yeah. it's way too out of hand. It's like yeah, it's it's beyond the eye roll. But like I said, there's young people like dig this shit. Getting, I don't like. I already don't understand goofier it. And so. Goofier man. I, the only the only dude on TikTok that I cheer for is that Mad Dog Four Twenty, the old dude. Who like didn't have a car or nothing like that was riding the longboard yeah. with the ocean spray. I can get behind him. Yeah, I mean, give him a like. Yeah, I I'm, I still don't have a TikTok. It's just out of it's out of old man spite, and that's it right now. Because like <laughs> Lainey will send me like some fucking uh some like cool shit, and she'll be like, "Dude, will you just get?" And I can never like see it half the time or click on it, and she'll have to like screen record it to send it to me. And I'm like, "Dude, I'm not I'm I'm not doing it. Like I'm just I can't I can't get I can't get sucked into this." We, ha- we Greenfield Finest podcast. We do have a TikTok. We don't put a <laughs> we don't put a ton of stuff up, but we got it. We I, we're just, I, don't, I just can't I can't see us TikToking, man. Once golf season starts, we're talking. Yeah, yeah we'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk on some golf. Yeah, we'll get yeah. verified on our carts. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. <laughs> what uh? We got the next thing, Jack, was something. Brother in arms. A brother in arms. The uh, Pittsburgh Public School works. No, Pittsburgh Public Works. Had a, had had a tough day had yesterday. A, had a tough day. <laughs> they're getting worse by, yeah. by the day. Dude, by the snowstorm, they're getting worse. They're, there's two inches of ice on my, like that alleyway <laughs> behind me. I almost broke my neck. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting tough to defend out here. No relief in sight. No relief <laughs> in sight. Sunshine. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, so public, we obviously got some snow. Did you see that Yinzer fucking up was, in Beachview? I loved it. If they don't want to fucking, if they don't want to fucking uh, drive the truck, I'll drive the fucking truck. Give me the keys. It's been sitting under this fucking bridge, fucking <laughs> under the trestle for fucking all day. Nobody in it. Like, hey asshole, do you think it's probably broken down? <laughs> <laughs> do, you th- do you think the salt truck that's sitting underneath the fucking trestles probably broken down, and that's why no one's operating it? 
He's like, I'll fucking do it. He had a cup of coffee. Like, dude, that a thing's cigarette. that thing's full of whiskey. No, you <laughs> didn't. You were fucking. You got a you got a solid amount of DUIs. Probably four or five. So fucking, you're not driving anywhere. Yeah, you're fucking. In that a, dude don't have a car. Come you don't on have that. a. Ju- yeah, it was, it was, they, dude, they caught him at fucking nine thirty on a on a Wednesday morning. Are fucking you, walking the streets. Going to the VFW. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, my bus is running late, and I gotta walk all the way down VFW. This guy's sitting down trust for three, four hours. I don't know. He got a cigarette in this hand, <laughs> yeah. coffee in this hand. He's like, you shall I'm gonna get. I mean, I'll get in there and drive a truck. I know I drive a truck. I'll get right in there. I'll plow the street, but we ain't gonna get plowed. Yeah, he's, nobody's in it. Dude, that, that was the best when he was like, "Give me the keys, I'll do it." <laughs> Nobody's in. Dude, then the other <laughs> broken dude, down, you asshole. Then the other dude went head over heels over that wall and south he, tried to, he tried to he tried to plow the south up, side slopes. Slope. Slopes, yeah, he's up in belts <laughs> over. <laughs> just went right over a wall. Bad, fucking. Uh, it's a steep section. <laughs> you go over. It's yeah. worse. The dude, worst. I, I, I mean, I've I've done some hills as a for, former plowman in my day. South side slopes is fucking ruthless. Uh, so my man took that truck out of commission too. So that's two that were down that we know of. Uh, but down he went right up, went right over that wall. Uh, our one buddy works for Public Works, and he said, "Fucking the dude was just screaming on the radio, like, ah! like well, yeah. <laughs> they didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, like mayday, mayday. <laughs> fucking, uh, no, some other dude. Uh, but fucking, uh, they." It's tough up there, dude. There's a lot of stuff. You're the first. You're the first guy on the scene. You know what I mean? It's your job. You're in. A, you're in a fucking. Oh, dude. That, 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 there's definitely some hills like you don't want to fuck with. Like, dude, those are the ones. Maybe put some chains on the tires. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, the, the, those chains out of up. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, pre salt. I'm gonna walk down this motherfucker <laughs> yeah, right, and pre salt right. it. There's a couple in Green. Out. There's a couple hills in Greenfield. Yeah, it's terrible. They're, they're, um, yeah, man. But, uh, believe me, I'm most wrecked. I, I, going over the hill, like I don't. I don't know what the fuck, dude. Is. I've been, I've gone, I've had in my plow truck just driving, like going down hills, like, like where you don't stop, like you put the plow yeah. down, and then you still you gotta don't put stop. that the plow down, like should catch you. And then, but if it, 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 it one time it didn't, and like I'm like going to fly in like the, the intersection, like on the, I'm like beeping my horn, like please nobody fucking t-bone me right now. <laughs> so I can see why he was screaming, dude. I yeah. mean that's. That's a high pressure situation. Yeah. And that fucking truck, I don't know, Todd, I'll send you the picture. I don't know it, how it just sat there. It like, was it was completely vertical. Yeah. <laughs> like, the plow the plow broke its fall. That dude probably would have got fucked up if the plow fucking oh, wasn't on there. Over. Yeah. Oh, Did it flip over? No, it didn't look it like, looked no. like it was just no, sitting there. No, like, no, I'm saying if the plow wasn't there, the plow wasn't was there it would have rolled. That's when you're sitting there, you're like that's like one of the things like, should I get out of here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like breathe. I don't want to move. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want this truck to fall on me. This guy just got on the radio and started screaming. <laughs> I think I probably would have did the same thing after yeah. after I shit my pants. Then I'd start screaming. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's one of those situations you're like in, and you're just like, what? Like, how the fuck did I get? This here? is how it's gonna like end. Like I was huh? just drinking a cup of coffee, fucking now, fucking <laughs> hanging over a fucking hillside. I'm in somebody's backyard yeah. in Beltsuver. Yeah, I got a better one than that. I'll send you. But fucking yeah. So I mean, t- public works. I mean, we're getting some snow, man. <laughs> it's fucking tough. You know what I mean? First man on the it's a it's a thankless dude. job. You can't win. <sighs> they're slow. The they're slow to the party, pop. dude. Like I, I don't like. There's like, dude. There's some like streets like like we're like like uh, North Oakland like high end streets. I was on today, and they weren't touched. I don't give a shit. Listen, they hit Pocono the way, though, just a, fine. There's a primary list. And yeah. then there's a secondary list, and then there's a third, I mean, it's, a third yeah. list. So it was I, it was a 48 hour storm. Yeah, so. dude, it's been snowing. Dude, that's the thing. It's like it's been starting and and it's been starting like the middle of night and shit. It's been starting at weird times, and it yeah, just but, doesn't stop. Yeah, we don't want them to have to get out of bed. No, <laughs> take care of the city that they work for. It's fine. It's funny because if you're in a plow, people start stopping you to plow their street. And I'm like, God, I don't think the ranger can handle that. Like the mm. one guy asked me on Bell Rock because he was like, hey, "Ain't been down here in two years." I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, Zebra drives a truck with a plow on it. I'm, mm. I'm gonna throw me a honey, buddy. I'll fucking, I'll get you out of here right now. It's a cobblestone street. You can't, you can't plow on the cobblestone. It's like, yeah. I mean, I could, but yeah, you probably you'll could pluck them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if you're driving a big ass city truck, you know. Yeah, well, I yeah, you do. It's all about the touch. You know what I mean? Get a little on the angle. Yeah, that's all right. You'll get it one day, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like um, we also had um, a, this chick that got kicked out of a Lakers. This game chick's a rider for. Um, LeBron um, sh- was arguing with her because her man was a Hawks fan. The game was in yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, it was an Atlanta Hawks game. And the way she was talking, she was like, my man loves the Hawks. And then she- he was talking trash, and LeBron was talking to him. And I said, don't you fucking talk to him Yeah, like LeBron that. called him like a steroid old man or some shit yeah. like that, and she flew off the fucking handle. Uh, and got a- she was- Then she like... <laughs> 
she got she flew off the handle was like standing there's no there's like no fans in like yeah in the right game so you or, could like, hear a couple everything yeah right so Le- she's standing up she's yelling at lebron like it's like it's a full-blown altercation he's like he called her like a ratchet ass a bitch ratchet or ass bitch or some shit like that uh which Le- lebron shouldn't say that about women you know? <laughs> <laughs> old squeaky clean lebron just yeah. calling bitches ratchet right yeah that's what I should have said. I just called him bitches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's calling these ratchet ass bitches. <laughs> He's calling these hoes bitches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she went fucking crazy in the court. And I was like, oh, wow. This is getting me going a little bit. And then she, like, of course, she took it to Instagram. <laughs> she was like, I'm 25 years old, dip bitch. No way. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she wasn't bad, though. No, she was She was hot. Tra- she was, I mean, she's starting to fuck up her face yeah, with the fucking she's, surgery she's and everything. Yeah, she's getting overboard. But she is. I mean, Zebra, she's like our age. She's not 25 right. years old. I could see that. 25. I mean, you could tell when a 25 year old's 25. Like, they look, they're, they're young looking. Yeah. <laughs> this girl <laughs> didn't have a 25 year old helmet by any fucking means. No. Uh, no. It, it was severely tattered. Like, yeah, she definitely, you could see, like, her skin was so fucking tight. Her lips were so puffy. You know Plump. What I mean? Dude, I just seen a tweet when I was waiting for you guys uh, to get here. And fucking, like, she, like, she's so, I mean, of course, she's a she's an IG chick. And she's, like, trying to. Uh, trying to run with this as much as she can because so she's probably getting some major fucking followers. But, like, Halsey put a, like, retweeted her picture and put a picture of, like, a roach, like, above it, <laughs> pretty much calling this bitch, like, ugly roach. So I was like, this is getting good, man. I hope that this chick doesn't – she does – I'll give her credit. She fucking she – some... she jumped on her old man's fucking yeah. – had his back fucking in one second. She, you don't talk to my fucking man like that, blah, blah, blah. And, like, and this morning, like, me and Lainey are watching. I was like, this is, like, doing it for me. Like, I, I, <laughs> like, like Lainey, like, take she, notes. Yeah. She was like – Really? I was like, oh yeah, like I'm. Yeah. A- <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> I, I like this girl because you could tell she was a little white trash. You know what yeah. I mean? Which is like that's hot. It, it he, found a, he found a sugar little, daddy. Little little ghetto. Fucking, she could have been from fucking bad attitude. Kind of yeah. like that. Yeah. She could have been from a Keysport. Fucking Maybe Carrick. Yeah. Fucking. And she she was given she was given the business to LeBron James. So I mean. Good for Thanks, her. babe. I mean, I mean? <laughs> did Bar still run with that? Because I know they're big. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, yeah. He, importantly, I just pretty much just stole his joke. He fucking he uh, he's like, I can't believe LeBron would say something like that. Had a tweet like some something yeah, like that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's supposed to be a role model and fucking <laughs> <laughs> and all this shit. But uh, I'll give her credit, man. She 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 rode. She's a rider. Tell him LeBron James to go fuck himself and fucking in front of. Dude, well, there's like eight people. Dude, there. these games yeah. right now are like the hecklers. That's like a heckler's dream. <laughs> we need to get back to normal here. People got dudes got too much. They're shorting. They're trying to fucking short the whole stock market, ruin <laughs> fucking lives. You got nothing better you to got, do. You got fucking Instagram chicks going crazy on LeBron, and like he could actually hear them. Uh, we we got to open up here and get fucking. It's a crazy get, world we yeah, live in, it, right? dude. It's fucking nuts. You got assholes putting fucking checks check marks on their fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for that fucking first story to come up. Like, oh, local influence gets robbed and fucking everything taken. Like, oh, really? Take the check mark down, dick bag. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Right, yeah. He's like showing himself on vacation. Like, his house is verified, though. He's not <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah. They, they seen uh, some vandals they broke into the Eaton Park down in um, Homestead. Someone put a Greenfield Finest podcast sticker over, all over Smiley. I did see that. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised when I went in there and seen it. I was like, oh. Yeah, listen, guys. We don't want you to just, like, vandalize <laughs> random things and put our stickers up. But, I mean, that was cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. No. Nah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of fans, old Raw Perus came down. We were on uh, we were on your Jag Off podcast on Sunday. Sunday morning, and we just went on there and fucking dominated. <laughs> <laughs> Showed him who was boss. I mean, we just funny. You know what I mean? Natural, yeah, naturally funny. Naturally funny. Naturally charismatic. Fucking. You know what I mean? They they didn't know what to do, but old uh, old Raw Perus came down and uh, he, gave us some support. <laughs> he came down. So that was cool. I, we didn't know who we, it was. We, we well, we knew who it was. We didn't know where we were going. Right. So fucking, we thought we were going. We thought we were going to like a, like a beer, like tap, like a, a brewery tap room, and we were at some craft place where Emporium. like they, they, yeah, where they sell other people's crafts. <laughs> So that 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 exists, like knickknacks, <laughs> like a craft flea market. Almost. Yeah, it's the best but like way in the strip it. district. So it was weird. <laughs> and they had a podcast. Kind of, what kind of crafts? Anything. There was literally like, anything. Yeah, there was like there was some weird like sex candles. Yeah. It's all homemade. There were some shit? paintings. You jag off had yeah. some uh, shit down there. Like some uh, what's that? Some bar- spatulas with hockey sticks on it. Ah, I like it. 
You'll love it, George. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you say this place was? Uh, yeah, it's right down the strip. So we went down there, and Rob Perus came down and supported us. So we appreciate, appreciate that, Rob. We had a, there was a couple people wearing Greenfield's finest merch down there. Dude. Robert and you jag off face. Yeah, it was the the cameraman for your jag off. His brother was a huge fan of the podcast. Shout out to him. And I, he said his friend Angel Sipe. They actually were like they're big fan. They were like huge fans. And Angel always comments on everything. We appreciate you guys. She actually support. brought us coffee, and we we weren't there. No, we had to dip out. You know, with everything going on, we like kind of did our thing, and then we we left. But thank you guys for coming down and support us. That was cool. We really didn't expect to see anybody, but it was nice to see some people. And hopefully, with some you know as time goes on and events open up, we're going to be having more and more stuff, and you know, be having more get-togethers. And but thank you, you Jag off for having us. Obviously, you realize now we're Pittsburgh's funniest podcast. Coming for that number one spot. Coming for it. Yeah. I don't think there's much stopping us. The only thing that fucking brought the problem with that like contest is is like I hate like fucking begging people to like vote for something. <laughs> you I, know what I mean? Like I fucking like here vote for I hate shoving shit down people's throat. But but I think by next year, people will be like, These dudes have been at this for almost two years. They come on every week, they never miss. They show up for us, we're gonna show up for them. That's where I think it's gonna go down this Unless year. So you're confident in our listeners, that's what's I, gonna happen. I love the listener, confident. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for my motherfucker. I'm all full of Fanta. <laughs> what's that from? We were just, we were just watching that. Eastbound and Dying. Eastbound and Dying. I'm all full of Fanta. He's like, man, his biscuits will make you come. <laughs> and the dude's like, come, foo. And she was like, boy, I told you, I didn't teach you to talk like that. He's like, I'm sorry, man, man. I'm just all full of Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> Go to break. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back with more Greenfield's Finest Podcast. What's going on, everybody? It's almost that time of the year where you got to go get your sidewalks or your steps fixed. And I don't trust a lot of these idiots out here right now. I really don't. Thank goodness Giuseppe and Sons is in the area, and they're always on the job. If you're looking for any type of masonry work this season coming up, please call Giuseppe and Sons, 412-421-6711, and make sure you tell them Rocco sent you, huh? Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412-451-451. 8968 and ask for Arthur. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're like me, you probably have appliances in your house TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, all types of stuff. That shit's going to break. And when it does, make sure you call Primetime Appliance 412 896 1395. They deal with all insurance and warranty companies. They do all the work. All you have to do is call 412 896 1395. Primetime Appliance. Give them a call. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's about that time of the year, and it looks like all the leaves are falling. Next, the snow comes, and then after that, when the winter clears, you're going to need everything pressure washed. That's why you need to call Rosado & Sons Landscaping, located in Greenfield. Phone number 412-521-9045. Make sure you call Rosado & Sons Landscaping before you call anyone else. Man, the other day I went to the hunting supply store and I got a cooter detector and it goes beep, beep, beep. And I'm driving through the side side. Next thing I know, that thing starts going off like crazy. Beep, 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 beep. It took me right into 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Man, that cooter detector is the best thing I ever bought. I ain't never seen so much cooter in my life. When I went in there, I couldn't believe my eyes. I never seen so much cooter. I went in there for the cooter, but then I looked at the menu, and the food was delicious. Some of the best barbecue in the burg. Not only that, they had every drink I could ever think of. So 12 Whiskey Barbecues filled with cooter, barbecue, and good drinks. At 1222 to East Carson Street. Make sure you stop down if you like cooter, barbecue, and drinks. 10-4. Are you sick and tired of partying with the same old, same old and getting the old boring results? Looking for something maybe different? You need to try Espelon Tequila. Two shots for a good time, three shots you might go get a package, and four shots you and your friends are getting on a plane to Vegas. Espelon Tequila, the official tequila of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Hey, what's up?
What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Tomatoes Podcast. If you're watching this, after every segment, John Rosario is taking off a piece of clothing. <laughs> so by what would Greenfield do? He's going to be bucket naked up in this <laughs> motherfucker. Show that dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> so um, right now, we're, we're going to do your, one of your favorite segments, What's Grinding My Gears. Who's going to get kicked off this week? Johnny Gear All yeah. right, I'll kick it off. <laughs> All right, so after the funeral, we go to 12 Whiskey Barbecue. You know what I mean? My man, Shuley's like, John, you, you need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So I'm like, yeah, dude, can I get a Miller Lite? You know what I mean? He's drinking like a you know high-end whiskey on the rocks. I'm like, I'll take a Miller Lite. He comes over with a 12-ounce draft beer. Oh. I Dude. I've never seen you with. I don't think I ever seen you with a draft beer like outside like a game. You know what? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was you know I was uh, fraught with emotion, Who's dude. And a dude well, Miller Lite draft. I'm like draft. Just, I said, give me Miller Lite. I'm like, me a draft. I'm like, cause were they on? I'm like, were they on special? Dude? I don't I, believe that. I go, I I, as a bartender, I don't believe I, that. I swear on my children. I think dude, you're trying to save a buck, dude. I sat at that bar and listened to other people order beers. For the rest of the day, <laughs> they were getting bottles. And not every, unless you got like some kind of like craft beer. Maybe he thought I was chasing my fucking whiskey with it. I don't know, man. You're drinking a boiler maker. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Dude. All, all I know is I'm getting heckled. Yeah, <laughs> I, like I spotted that immediately. Dude, it it looks strange, dude. Getting called Johnny Draft, dude, just taking <laughs> pictures of me. I'm like this fucking dude. You know, I'm just trying out to my... save a buck twenty-five. Yeah, right. I mean, dude, I'm a cheap dude. I man. understand. <laughs> Special's a special, but god damn, you know what I mean? Like, we haven't been to the bar in a while. I'm like, dude. I forgot how to order drinks, man. Yeah, yeah draft beer just wasn't, you know, you know how long that shit's been in them pipes. And listen, people been hanging on to beer. Yeah, yeah right. right. Bars have been open and closed, open and closed. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And that Miller Lite could have been in that, you know, li- that line was, for quite it? some time. What did dude, that? I drank half of it. I'm like, I tried to crush you, it. I'm like, fuck. You, well, you were fuck. just, it's it wasn't worth the, the heckling. It wasn't no. worth the heckling you were taking either. No, I was, I was getting heckled and like everybody's like, dude, <laughs> you know what I mean? Making it like I bought the draft. That's and why I'm, I disappeared. I went to the other yeah. side of the bar and let you eat all like, that. Like, dude, I was going to get like. Man, Cobas is really, really, right, but, really rough on John. He's drinking draft beer. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Right Anybody want to split a pitcher of beer tonight? <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, man. I can, can see that. I can see how they grinded me. He grinded me a little bit. bit but it, yeah. yeah, dude, I, I don't know why I thought that was so funny. but like, it Everybody was, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked away because they were abusing him so bad. <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't want him to put the spotlight on me. Dude, you know? I couldn't, dude, I couldn't, dude, that's why I had to use this platform because I couldn't, like, <laughs> dude, back. But once it took off, like, uh, there was the, <laughs> it, it, it was, didn't matter. Yeah, that, that was a locomotive on the move, yeah, dude. You weren't getting in front of that. All I know, I was like, I got a group text message and it's me holding my draft beer. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a draft gif. Just yeah, right, beer yeah. like Johnny. Yeah, where's the specials at, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh that's man, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's up, Schultz? What's grinding them gears? All right, you know what grinds my gears. So, like we said, it snowed the past couple days, and uh, I realized that fucking this generation of kids that are in like you know grade school and shit will never have another fucking snow day again because instead of letting them stay home playing the fucking snow, they have to do virtual fucking learning. So the snow day, which was like a staple of our childhood. Is now a thing of the past, dude. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking kidding me? We talked about this before. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> yeah. no. All right, maybe I was zoning out. Did we talk about it today? No. no it was, it's been, it was a gear grinder like when it first came out. Yeah, I don't really think it was no. a topic. It was a corn dick of the week. Yeah. Oh, corn it, dick of the week. All right, yeah, for taking away the kids. You know my gear grinder is when I repeat myself. <laughs> 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 It is good, dude. It is. It's impossible to remember what the fuck we we talk about on here. Like I go I, when I go to look at like what we Greenville do is I'm like, what the, did we fucking do this already? No. Yeah, I, I mean, don't know what I ate for lunch yesterday. You think I fucking remember? What yeah, you said I thought last week? I, that yeah. is a good gear grinder though. Yeah. That is yeah. bullshit. <laughs> but we it's been covered. <laughs> All right, to re to reiterate, but, <laughs> but I heard in some places that they were giving kids the day off. Like so I, I don't know, was it all schools? Like they just no, I th- yeah. The one dude in New York fucking like said like we're we're giving you a fucking day off, like snow day, snow day. Yeah, so, that's like, cool. Fucking, that's, that's what Rose did to the girls the other day. She, she called a teacher like, yeah, they're not gonna do virtual. They're gonna play in the snow like kids. Yeah, yeah that's what they did. You know, it was good. Hey, you got dude. When you get snow, you got to play in that fucking snow. Yeah, did you did you go sled riding? Uh, no, I did not. By the time I got home, they had already went sled riding and stuff with with Rosa. So did you go? I got off the hook. Ah, uh, yeah, I did. We went in the back. Dude, it was good. Good, uh, good sled ride and snow. Yeah. Good sled ride and good snowman weather, dude. Pack that, <laughs> dude. Like you could just roll the snow up and it would That's just build nice. and build. 
That's a thing that's favorite. That's the worst when you go to make a snowball and fucking like it just all oh, like crumbles in your hand. Powder. This, this, this gloves. Yeah, then yeah. you gotta add water, and next thing you know, you got a fucking ice rocket in your fucking hand, and you <laughs> yeah. break someone's face. And there's a big fight on Greenfoot Avenue, and the old guys jumping out trying to punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> dude, major snowballs. Yeah, that would have been ma- dude. Like, you could definitely fucking put together a nice snowball. Yeah, if, you're, if your house is verified, you're gonna, your house is gonna get crushed with snowballs. I mean, ice balls. I yeah. remember. I remember up at Dice, like your fucking head was on a swivel, swivel. in a snowstorm. You know what I mean? Because you didn't want. Because dudes weren't like like it wasn't like a playful. You were getting a guy like thirty, forty feet away, full wind up, in blasting you in the dude. back of the n- nugget. Yeah, I mean there were some dudes that we hung out with that were like fucking sixteen years old and like were grown men by in high school and like they're crow hopping snowballs at you from ten feet away. Dude, right. and like it didn't have to be snowing like dudes would fucking grab like you know like when you see like an old dirty snow pile yeah like, dudes would like make fucking ice balls out of that like dude if you hit somebody with this from like it's you're gonna throwing, hurt. you're, you're gonna knock them out you're gonna knock dude, them out. I, you might bleed from that i'm pretty sure mike terzik i'm not saying he's dude i, I know they ganged up the one time i think on like board Bar- Bar- i was just yeah. thinking about dude it. and like they only threw it like what well, you know like usually like dudes are throwing it like random people it was like 15 guys like <laughs> aimed at one dude. I'm like, this is. You could knock some furniture out, dude. The dude. one Dudley had it bad, man. He did. Fucking, I remember the one time I was sitting in like the down in the uh, first floor annex, and I like had a class and I was like looking out the window and that little courtyard where all the benches were and shit out like out back. Out back, yeah. Fucking dude, Dudley was just walking through there. Nobody was outside. It was just Terzik and fucking Dudley. And fucking Terzik was like hiding behind a car like a lion. <laughs> fucking. Saw Dudley walking across the courtyard. He waited for Dudley to get in front of the bench. He ran after him, grabbed him by his book bag, and pulled him over the bench. <laughs> there was no one around to laugh. I just saw because I was in class staring out the window. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? He was sick. He had a disease. <laughs> yeah. Dude, rem- I remember playing on South Stadium. And it was like a timeout. I looked up in the stadium. It was kickoff. We were on kick- it, it was, was kickoff. Kick and Terzik, like, for some reason, just pushed Dudley down. Like, they started I- bleachers. Dudley, down Dud- to Dudley's credit, he did go up and fucking start firing away. At you got to fight him. I, yeah. right. I was out. So you guys were playing. I was up in the stadium for that game so the whole way there here's how like it all started initially Terzic had toothpicks and he put like probably <laughs> 75 toothpicks in the roof of Dudley's car so Dudley gets in hits his head off toothpicks which up. Dudley was cool with let Terzic like go chill in his car and smoke right. weed and shit like when Dudley had to go to class and fucking <laughs> Terzic just booby trapped his whole car with toothpicks right and then like the whole way down he's like Flicking shit in his ear, he's drinking. Yeah, just being a like Terzic would be. Didn't a, he put a him dead. in the headrest? When Dudley went and put his head back on the headrest and poked him in the back of his head. Yeah, and then the other thing he did. <laughs> That's when, so mean. When he had him on the headrest, he had like a. It was like a like the string from his hoodie, and he had he flung it around Dudley's head. <laughs> Start choking and him. Choking him. You know what I mean? Dudley's doing this. I'm like, dude. While he's driving. While he's driving, like we were at a stoplight, but still you're getting choked <laughs> out of stoplight. I'm like, dude, this is fucking ruthless. Dude, we were in Arizona one time, and they started fucking with me like that. I was fucking, I was the only one that had, uh, was old enough to rent a car. And, like, Marty, Marty's older than me, but Marty didn't have a license. Marty was slapping me in the back of the head with the, the floor mat. I pulled over. I was like, I'm not, this, uh, this is over. Like, I'm not doing this. Someone else has to drive. I know where this is going to go. It's just going to escalate, and I'm fucking yeah. done. So you get worse. Oh, man, it's on me. Gear ground. I got a couple things this week. But first, it was like, um, you know, our friend passed away. We were at the funeral. And uh, leave it like emotional situation, and my mom happened to be there, <laughs> and she sees me from a distance, and like out of nowhere, like people are, are crying. There's people crying, people with their heads down. No one's, everyone's like, don't know really where, know where we're going next. And all that I hear is my mom go, Michael, Michael, I didn't realize how bald you're going. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So your hair, it's just not there. I'm like, why don't you go to fucking rehab? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, I was, like, the meanest thing I could say. She don't need to. She's fine. She's 64. Yeah, I mean, she's still a party. She's good. But still, like, <laughs> don't say to your kid. Or, you just, know, just, at that moment Because we got rushed out of there to begin with because there was only allowed 40 people. Weird. Dude, that, I'll tell you what, though. That was very Dino-esque. Very. Of your mother. Yeah. 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 yeah that might have been Dino fucking <laughs> yeah. giving Channeling. Christy a shot. Yeah. yeah like fucking. They're, um, yeah, that was like uncalled for, Mom. That was right. a br- brutal heckling in a funeral. I think mean, it just wasn't. That and, it, and it was like sixty people there. Because uh, it was so <laughs> weird. We got like you got like you said you got like rushed out. You got rushed out, and we were, all of a sudden we were outside. Right. And then there was the line like quadrupled by the time we got out there. 
there was all these people there and we're all fucking grinding like we didn't like know where we were going next and hook and then you just get heckled by your mom by going bald <laughs> that's pretty ruthless yeah yeah like, sorry i couldn't wear a hat to the funeral mom <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah well I, I i'm sorry i didn't live up to your high standards yeah. <laughs> hairlines were exposed for sure yeah <laughs> Why that? I, you know, I'd find out who, who, if my dad's dad was bald, but I don't fucking know him. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have threw that in your face. Yeah. <laughs> was my dad bald? Oh, you don't know either, huh? And yeah, about <laughs> them apples. Um, the other one, like for me, so double grinder, double grinder, dude. So like, I'm trying to like be like a little bit of a better person, like with my one neighbors, because like I'm just like gonna be the bigger person. So I go down and I run the snowblower yesterday. And I do the, the whole one, like, front, front of my house. Front of my house, their house, and then there's an uh, older couple that was on the end. They just come back with another path. They're on the porch. They see me. They don't say anything. They didn't say thank you? They didn't say thank you. So today, I didn't I didn't do it. I would never do it again. You should blow your snow onto yeah. the sidewalk. So I was, like, think I, like, looked at them, and they're, like, they're supper like they're you know they're like fucking weird they're just like sitting there. i always get their shit from amazon always gets delivered to my house i open it and they're like all into that anime like two different times i opened it looked at them like this ain't ours it was like little little weird anime dolls you know what i mean the animation yeah you know, have some real creeps on your hands yeah some real creeps but they're very ungrateful like if someone was doing that to my yard like i think any of us here Please, dude he could have give you a wave i was like dude i really appreciate that if you ever need any help let me know I, i'm thank you not even a fucking wave, dude. I was so fucking yeah, angry. Dude, about- dude, I want to rip someone's head off there and say thank you when I hold a door for him. Right. And yeah. I ran the snowblower. I, th- I mean, like, I didn't go up their steps, but so what? I still did your path. It's, you know what you I mean? You, like, did their front walk, too? Just the front walk. Like, like where my yeah, front house yeah. is, I went down to that corner, came back. Right. So there's an older couple. And, like, I don't know if the older couple even knows I do it, but they know I do it. And they that was the second. The one time... I think they told my girlfriend thank you, but they didn't say it to me for some reason. But this time, no one said anything. And I promise you. You got a war on your I'll hands. I'll never do it again. Never do it again. They're, like, younger, and they're, like, right, they're, they're able-bodied C- people. They go to CMU. They're, like, <sighs> they're they're different. So we're throwing snowballs next time. Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> nerds. nerds. <laughs> I hate nerds. Yeah. Uh, I got a grinder. Dude, I'm just so sick of how old and white I'm getting. I'm fucking... <laughs> I went to Trader Joe's today to get plantain chips. <laughs> wow. That's pretty I went to white. Trader Joe's today to get plantain chips. Oh, man. What is a plantain chip? I don't it's a, even, it's a banana. It's a, like a, it's a dried banana, I think. It's like one of them small bananas. Yeah, yeah. small banana. And they, they turn it into chips and they drizzle chocolate on and sea salt. And, like, did I follow Trader Joe's on fucking Instagram, which is embarrassing enough. <laughs> But now, like I'm fucking, now I'm listening to like th- their new items dropping. I like, I went, I went and got them because I like, I, I, I seen people talking about them. Like some fucking, new Jays dropping. Yeah, you like I, the yeah, new plantain chips You're are waiting dropping. Waiting in line for them bitches. Yep. And I fucking, Lainey called me and like she didn't even ask me to do it. Like for, I called her. I was like, Hey, do you want anything from here? She's like, Hmm, maybe you should get those plantain chips. And I was like, I already have two bags. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason so, I came here. So I can't even like blame it on her. Like it's just me that that's turned into a giant fucking pussy. <laughs> that fucking goes chopping it for plantain chips. Your Trader Joe's is like my Costco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I mean, dude, what kind of a pussy goes shopping for plantain chips? Don't get me wrong. I got some other shit, but like that was the that was the reason for the trip. I mean, the roads weren't great. You you made your way out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean. How were the chips? Dude, I, I used to be like a cool guy that like did <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like, how, how was the chips? That's what I want. They was fucking it? suck. Oh! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, if if they would have been fire, I'd been on here bragging you, about it. Like, dude, you, you don't even know about these plantain <laughs> chips I'm on. They're fucking you didn't hard. put any, like, chocolate and sea salt on them? They come with chocolate and sea salt. That's why they come. And they still were no good. Sucked. Oh. Wow, dude. Wow. They, cause they have, she, she, you, got like, thunk it? you got like twenty dollar bag of plantain chips just sitting in the crib. Seventeen dollars. <laughs> I'm. The, I mean, I'm gonna get all high and force feed them myself, but like. <laughs> It'd be like me with that draft. We just keep beating it. Like this sucks. I like. I like. I was unpacking it. Yeah, right. I was unpacking them, and I was like, "Man, am I, like what? What a pussy I am." I was like, "But if they're good, like this is well worth it." And I took a bite, and I was just like, "Pussy." <laughs> I can close them back up. I can't believe I did this. I mean, something. We we got to get back. When I'm going to shopping for plantain chips, just like for fun, 
the world going to open back up because like yeah. shit's getting a little goofy. It is. It's getting a little goofy when I'm like when I see Trader Joe's like drop a new item and I'm like, oh, I got to go get that. Dude, it's, it's like, <laughs> like, like Costco. I was like, I went down there. I was like, oh, they have battery jump starters. I have to get one. You know what I mean? <laughs> I called Risotto. I was so excited by. I took a picture. Like, look what I got, dog. You know what I mean? He's like, who gives a fuck, dog? <laughs> well, you definitely need that because... Yeah, you? I was like, yeah. As long After as that you... situation. <laughs> yeah, like, you got to tell I'm... that story. So, uh, yeah. So, a couple... Yeah. So, um... <laughs> like Dino's, Dino's funeral fun- wasn't Dino, bad enough. Dino's funeral, obviously, like, terrible day for, for all of us. You know what I mean? But, uh, like, I we walked out of the front of the church, and because of where I was parked at, there were so many people there. Like, I, I was, like, double... Par- there was a lot of people. We were double parking people. Well, I had my my blinkers on, and when I kind of ran up to the front of the church to get up there when we first got there, leaving the blinkers on. When I come out of church, I'm looking, and I could see the light, like, faded. And it's like... I'm not like, looking good. I'm like, no, not right now. Because <laughs> I would ru- I've ruined the whole procession. Which I mean, we, part- were, we were stuck in a parking lot for... I mean, we, we all got there, but, like, it took five, ten minutes of, uh, to, oh, get, yeah. to get it situated. I mean, there had yeah. to be... 50 60 cars it was the largest yeah. procession i've ever you know ever seen but luckily uh gina watkins was like i got jumper cables i'm like sweet the dude in front of me was driving a dodge ram that was a big truck somehow maneuvered and got himself to face me so he could jump me hooked up to me jumped me right away and saved the day because otherwise i'd have probably still been stuck there waiting for triple a yeah that was vinnie josh's stepdad he's the man yeah but fucking uh yeah you, you were flustered and like rightfully so you like, have cables and we we're like no but like yeah if you think you're like you're holding the whole funeral up and you're like you're uh, ru- you're ruining your buddy's like <laughs> and you're already <laughs> send off a, a wrecking it was a, ball. it's like yeah, all right. of our like best friends <laughs> funeral and i'm like sitting there like ruining it everybody's <laughs> in suits and shit yeah. you know, with with a v- blue plow truck <laughs> <laughs> hey, I brought the old plow. I had to bring the yeah, old plow yeah, truck yeah. out, you know, because I, you know, uh, Dina had to be up there dying about Dying. That. <laughs> that, 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 but that was another funny thing. So Wednesday, big day for me. Uh, my man Rosado was like, "Dude, I'm gonna take you get your driver's license." So I'm like, "All right, I'm 39. Like, I guess I'll get it." So <laughs> I've been driving for three years. <laughs> me, me and Rosado go get out there, and the dude's like, "All right, you got everything." We're like, "Yeah." And Rosado's like, "I don't have my registration." I'm like. I don't know. We might be cool. We weren't cool. But the dude said, listen, I'm going to give you one hour to get back. So we flew to Rosario's dad's office, got the registration, got back there. It was a different dude who was way cooler. And the dude was like, go over the controls. And I'm like, dude, Rosario, show me. I know. I know these. And he says, hey, buddy, what happens if it gets frost on the window? I'm like, no. You didn't tell me about this, John. <laughs> so I'm in the car. And he's like, you can't help him. I'm like, no, no. He like says it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, man. He's like, you're getting warmer. Warmer, and I see it. I'm like, right here, dude. It's like, all right. And then, like, I, I hit the parallel parking. I'm fucking driving so slow because I'm like, dude, I can't fuck this up. And I, I get in. These were COVID rules. This dude wasn't in the truck. The no, truck was, was you. Me, it was just me, you and John. Me and John. And then, like, I look over. I give the, I'm like, I'm done. He's like, thumbs up. Good. Dude, I came back around. I had to do a circle. I'm driving so carefully. Like, Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. I get over. I'm like, I pull up to him. Like, what's up? He's like, all right, buddy, you passed. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. Dude, stay, dude. So he goes to the parallel parking, dude. I'm like, this dude drives dump trucks for me. This should be no problem. He got my car. It's easy. To, this dude was so nervous. I'm like, in his yeah. own head, dude. He's like twisting the wheel with both arms, like banging it like too far. Oh, like, he's standing it the whole I'm, way. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, he's gonna fucking fail. I'm like, oh fuck, he's gonna fail. And dude, so he like gets you get like a like a limited amount of like backups and yeah, well, yeah, right, dude. He's like, do you think I'm in? I'm like, I, we're like, look, and I was like, I don't think you're in. And then he like, he banged it all the way back, and he was like, I'm like, I, he like gave the thumbs up. I'm like, not looking to do. I'm like, thank God. Dude, yeah. you think the dude gave you a little sympathy pass? He might, yes. he might look to be like, like uh, this dude might not fucking make it. You dude, know what I mean? Dude, I mean these COVID rules, like the instructor not getting in the car with you, so they they're just giving sixteen year old kids. Dude, fucking... literally, he made a left in the parking lot, went around, made a right, came down. Yeah, like, he made like a circle in the parking lot and you know, came back. That? That was it. Oh, fuck it, you got it. I yeah, know, I was so, dude. It was a major day, and the end. I got through to unemployment that day. That's why I was like, you know, major come up. Yeah, that was my, my it's man. A good feeling when everything comes together. Like when that's why I said I said my man's looking out for me. You know what I mean? Was he? Did you see a cardinal? No, not yet. But I got the bird food. You know, what just, I mean? yeah, just in case that dude's gonna be well fed. You might have to wait till springtime. I don't know if cardinals can. Uh, They're yeah. come, are they around? When it gets nice enough, they, they're still around. I'm a fucking bird feeder will be full tomorrow. I know that. You know what I mean? I'll be sitting <laughs> in my window, like, <laughs> just waiting. waiting for a cardinal. So you you got to get a trail cam now. 
Yeah, <laughs> you have a little bird flag. <laughs> put a bird flex in them. I'm like, I know that no, bird. <laughs> put a mirror in the bird feeder. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know that bird, but. All right, everybody. I think we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Greenfield's Finest podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was too, and that's when I found out about Schaefer Inc. Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim to firstly be a company principle driven, and to achieve this, the importance is ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 412-915-1694. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're sitting down right now and you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast, you probably want to order a pizza. And if you do, make sure you order from Capizzuto's Pizza, the official pizza that Greenfield's Finest Podcast, located at 422 Greenfield Avenue, phone number 412-521-6570. Mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast whenever you call. Me and my wife didn't know what to do. We had a gigantic tree in our backyard that we had to get cut down. I've never done anything like this before. Who was I supposed to call? Luckily, I found Greater Pitt Tree Service, a locally owned and operated company. They came out, got to work, and got it done in a safe manner, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Thank you so much, Greater Pittsburgh Tree Service. And they also do free work for World War II veterans. Please call 412-884-TREE. That's 412-884-TREE. If you're like me, I bet you have the same opinion. Are you sick and tired of smoking hot chicks and delicious chicken wings? Well, I know I am. So if you are too, make sure you stay away from bootleggers over in Oakland at 403 Semple Street. Because all it is is delicious chicken wings, cheap drinks, and smoking hot bartenders. That's bootleggers at 403 Semple Street over in Oakland. Over or not. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be packing boxes and moving stuff all the way around the tri-state area. I just don't got time for it, but I got to move. What am I supposed to do? Thank goodness I find out about Miracle Movers, fully bonded and insured, serving the Tri-County area, and they go long and short distance. I just find out they do commercial delivery, too. That's Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620, 412-419-2620, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? When we first started Greenfield's Finest Podcast, people started asking us right away, like they wanted t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, things like that, and we didn't know what to do. So we ended up getting a hold of Ink Division. Ink Division's a locally owned company ran by Jason Lott. Phone number 412-381-1104. Not only did Jason help us make all of our products and help ship them out, he helped come up with some of the designs, too. If you're looking for anything, if you have a podcast, a music band, if you're a comedian, you got a wedding coming up or a bachelor party, you need any specialty t-shirts or any specialty merchandise made please call ink division 412-381-1104 and remember tell them z-bird sent you hey what's going on everybody welcome back to greenfield's finest podcast it looks like we're at What Would Greenfield Do? What Would Greenfield Do? Whoop, whoop. All right. If your girlfriend slash wife says she'll break up with you if you keep watching porn, what do you do? I mean, I mean, this is, I mean, I guess I would quit. I could, I'd quit watching it and just start making it. <laughs> you, you would start you, you, with, with, like, random people or with, with your with lady? The, with my lady. You and, know then, what I mean? and then what? You would go back to those videos so I can the one jerk yeah. off time? Yeah, I'd have something in the chamber, you know what I mean? Say, you know, that's actually that's a, that's like a loophole there yeah. around the whole uh, question, right? Here, bud. Sounds like you might do a little filming already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that came out, that came out way <laughs> too easy. Michael Scorsese. Dude, if I if I scroll through fucking Pornhub and find you on there, dude, I'm be <laughs> nah, oh, we're, I'm not it. public yet. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> working out the deets. <laughs> we want big money. If we want to see Mike Zydell in action. I think I could not watch porn and not it really yeah. not be. I mean, I could go off my highlight reel too. Yeah. I got a nice highlight tape in my head. If I, could, I could still remember that, so that's yeah. why I can. I could go off the highlight tape. I think. I bet that I wasn't a porn guy for a long, long time, and then I got a little older, and you know, I mean, it came a little more, came around a little more easier, and I, I took a gander at Pornhub and some live cams, and I was like, hmm. If you, <laughs> yeah, if you, I like this. If you had to go back, I mean, this would be an 
it's like a way easier question if you said this 20 years ago. But like the access that people have to porn now, there's people, you know what I mean? Like they've never had porn in your pocket. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, let me check out this. Oh, On okay. demand. Oh, let me see what these lesbians are doing. That they, they got the tension. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, they were bad. Yeah. That's, that's and like, their stepbrother's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's like one of them things like, yeah, like if you like stay away from it, like. You can like kind of like hold off, but like once you dive in, <laughs> yeah. once you, yeah, there's once, no putting your toe in the water. No. You're in deep, and once it's over, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just like, ashamed. You just yeah. get rid of it real yeah. quick. Yeah. Off the like, what a sicko! Like, what yeah. does it matter with me? <laughs> yeah, it's always up in my browser when I go to look for something else, dude. Because like I'm a morning jerk off guy, <laughs> and fucking, I'll just like go to like, I'll just go to look for something, and it's like right there. I'm like, well, oh wait, wait, trying to throw. I must throw my phone. When it comes to that, so I got a good story. Of a friend of mine, uh, we it was like must have been around Christmas or something. This was a couple years ago. We, we went down to like Yankee Candle and uh, we we're gonna get like pictures. You went to Yankee Candle, Candle with your friend? Well, no, I went there. You know, he was getting something for his girl. I was like, yeah, I'm going down to Yankee Candle to get something for Rosa. He's like, I'm getting a picture put on there, blah blah this and that. So he, he's you know he's the sharpest fucking knife in the drawer. He asked the girl, hey, can you help me? She's like, yeah, let me see your phone. And she pulls it up and there's like fucking all kind of porn and stuff going on. Uh, and she's just, <laughs> to, the, to the Yankee Candle girl? Yeah, so she's like uncomfortable. She hands it back to him. So he tries to erase it, hands it back to her, and it pops back up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, I like that. That, phone, like, that phone's covered in I cum. like this scent. <laughs> like, so, so he, he like comes Was over. she like laughing about it at least? Or she, like she, she was like taken aback, dude. Yeah, you know, she's right. like. She's like an eighteen year old girl that sells candles, bro. Right. She's like, and should this, I run? This dude has like like a bukkake fucking film on his phone, you know what I mean? He was that deep into no, it. No, I made that up. I don't uh, know what it was. <laughs> but yeah, I'm and like so he tells me about it. I'm like, I'm out of here, dude. Like, yeah, I don't even want a candle <laughs> yeah. anymore. Fuck this. We're I'm about gonna, to catch a case. Yeah, like I'm just gonna buy one off the shelf. You can yeah. get you can get your fucking Pornhub fucking picture put yeah. on. Anyway, yeah. you can, anyway, you can put this on a candle for me. Uh, dude, <laughs> it was game. like the weirdest thing. This poor girl turned fucking It's a cum shot. Bright red. <laughs> World's yeah. largest gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you, you know, lavender. Yeah. Lavender. <laughs> With a touch yeah. of jasmine. <laughs> jasmine. Dude, did I listen to this wrong, or were you guys about to go get, like, Yankee candles with your pictures on them? That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it was going to be. No, no. no. It was going to be you. I was just going to get candles for Rosa for Christmas, and he got the idea I'm going to put a, can- a picture of me and my girl on a candle. Or... I thought you were going to do that, too, though. No, no. It, no. Did, let's no, be... I get them off the shelf. No, but listen to me. Let's just be honest. Like, did it go through? If his would have turned out good, were you like interested in me? <laughs> no, did it? A little like... bit, I think, maybe. We, we, we need a. Rosa would have heckled you if you yeah, were Yeah, that's right. why I would have never done it. <laughs> yeah. It would cost me $30, and she would end up breaking it before she fucking opened. She's like, look where this motherfucker got me. She's like, what a pussy this guy is. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's exactly what she would have said. I want to see a set of big old titties on a candle. <laughs> Not fucking Anthony Jackhammer yeah, she, concrete. She'd have been happier with the porn like, yeah. on a candle. <laughs> the That'd Bukaki be the picture to put yeah. on there, yeah. <laughs> That'd be the one with the scent. Yeah. Bukaki scent. Yeah. <laughs> What do you got, Johnny? What are you thinking on this? Oh, man. I was fucking got carried away with that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would try. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say I wouldn't relapse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd give it a, you know. Yeah, it's pretty safe to say that we're, we're I mean, you guys are married, me and Z Burger. Right, I'm not going to lose my family over porn. Yeah. 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 You, you dump her, you dump her quick. You catch like, there's aware, there's you girlfriends in the, like, girlfriends in the past that gave me that ultimatum. I'll be like, all right, well, it's nice knowing you. I was I was looking for her out and like this is <laughs> you it. You just gave it to me. Yeah, like if my lady straight came to me and said, "Now, like I'm not even gonna act like a, a top," I'd be like, I wouldn't look at the porn. Like as yeah. much as I like at the shows, I'm getting old. Like I, I'd be like, "All right, you, you won." Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, I just <laughs> no stranger is gonna fuck me now. I buy plantain chips. <laughs> 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 my mom said I'm going bald. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> What yeah. the fuck? I'm not fucking blowing this it's pussy. It, it, he has it, fucking two bags of plantain chips in his cupboard. <laughs> right. It, it's it's crazy how things change. Before, everybody had been like, fuck her, get out of here. Now everybody's like, oh, well, I am mm, getting a little older. She, she, does, <laughs> she, does, she does make me meatloaf. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I like her sauce. <laughs> she washes sheets. <laughs> 
Dude, Lenny washed my sheets yesterday, and like she's the one that does it. Like, and, you know what I mean? Because she, she's by the time I wash, our sheet <laughs> sheet washing schedule is way different. You know what I mean? She she likes to do it like once a week. I'm like once to every two months. Two months. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I used to be. Rose yeah. taught me how to wash sheets. I never washed my sheets. Dude. Yeah. It was just like a cesspool, <laughs> gross. But she's like, these are gross. They look fine to me. She was like, look at my side and look at your side, and there was a coloration difference. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Sweaty motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I've been sick, and she was like, what? No, it's over. Like, fucking, <laughs> that's done. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, well, we'll do one more and get the fuck out of here. All right, what do you got? Uh, if a person starts... If a, Jesus Christ. If a person stops answering you in the middle of the week, is it acceptable to text her again over the weekend? So, well, this is a chick. You fire off a text during the, on a Wednesday, going back and forth. She shuts it down, no response. You fucking you don't hear from her at all do you fire off that weekend text i think a weekend like hey what's up like because you know you can get one 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 yeah. I, I think it, i mean you catch her out and she's had a like fucking a couple of vodka sodas it's probably gonna work in your favor yeah that's it i mean that's a, a tough question i mean i think yeah, the hey what's up is the appropriate like that's it no pressure like no where are you at are you doing oh, anything are you mad at me do, yeah <laughs> do you want to do you want to grab brunch like there's like none of that <laughs> no. it's just like hey yeah, or, or you gonna blow me? Just throw that hook out there, or don't, and do not bring up the fact that she blew. Like, say, hey, what happened this week? Don't bring it up. I really love their conversation from Wednesday, but then they're literally dying out. Just wondering what you're up to. Hoping you're okay. That's yeah. they don't want to hear. I thought that. we had a great time together. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think the hey, what's up? Is, hey, is what's good. up? That's is the, the only. That's the only thing one. you could do. Yeah. That's pretty much like all you can say, because like, dude, it's a crazy where a hey, what's up will get you. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> breaks the ice. Breaks the ice. Breaks the ice, and fucking like I said, you you don't know what kind of mood you're gonna catch. You can catch a good mood, and next thing you know, but a bing, but a boom, <laughs> but a boom in the room. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you see your grazing roots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's it's a Pandora's box you could open there. My yeah, friend. you turn around, hey, what's up? Next thing you know, you're grazing roots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think? We're gonna land this plane? Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna um I think we are but um everybody thank you so much for listening and for all your support. We hope you uh, really enjoyed this episode. Um please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Also we're gonna be having towards the end of the month we're gonna have some St. Patrick's Day shirts coming out. So we'll have some Greenfield Finest St. Patrick's Day shirts and some other stuff that we'll be putting up for sale. But uh, please tell your friends about the podcast. We're trying to get as big as possible. So let other people know if you can like and share, repost some of our stuff that would really help us out. Thanks, everybody. And just remember, have a good week and Greenfield loves you.